I used to apply for service now lead position. So let me share my experience based on that. So interviews basically look out uh, what are the different modules that you are strong or experienced with. It's like ITSM, ITAM, CSM, etc. And then they will look out whether you have experience in support project or into an implementation. Uh, so this into an implementation is something they really look out when, especially when you are experienced. Yeah. And then um, it's all scenario based, very much uh, scenario based. Sometimes only they last for you know basics. Uh, otherwise, mostly it is scenario based. Uh, other scenario based questions are: What are the recent challenges you faced in your project or in any implementation, and how did you overcome, and what is your role on that? Something like that. And then uh, they will definitely ask you whether you are part of any version upgrade. And if it is so, so they will ask you to explain the end-to-end -end process. How did you do? How frequently your company will perform version upgrade? So how did you do? What is your role in that? Everything they will ask. And they will also look out your hierarchy, where you, will, where you are actually. Uh, whether you are reporting to architect, whether you are reporting to some project manager or lead. So that they can understand, so where is your position? And then, um, recently I have an experience with one of the interviewer where he asked me to open a PDA instance and share my screen to write scripts. He has given me some scenarios. For example, uh, I, I want to know the number of incidents uh, which is in the category of uh, software, uh, as simple as that. And then uh, they will ask, also ask you to write any, uh, go with any scenario, but use glide aggregate method. Uh, and what is the purpose? Um, then they asked me to uh, differentiate simple, dynamic, and uh, advanced uh, types of uh, reference qualifiers. How it differs each other. Uh, sometimes basic questions like how do you differentiate UI policy with data policy? Yeah, those questions will also be asked. Uh, sometimes scenario based again and they'll come back and ask uh, if you are uh, who's handling the requirement uh, from customer uh, whether you're part of those discussion if you are part of it then what is uh, uh, what will be the challenges like if requirement scope changed or creep at last minute so how did you face those situations so how will you explain the challenges and uh, Equally, how, how will you make uh, the business understand the last minute changes affecting you? So those kind of things they will look out for. And mostly it is scenario based as I said. Sometimes they will mix uh, basic questions also. So we need to uh, prepare uh, based on that accordingly. Yeah, thank you.